Okay, so then we have to ask, okay, you have shown in previous slides that it works okay, that we have great performance, that we have great product reduction, but then comes the question, why? What makes the top 30 for the 21st century an even better performer? And I think that this is because of four things, four, there are four issues. First, the Dow 30 for the 21st century uses three indexes instead of two. The original Dow 30 is based, for instance, on the Dow Industrials and the Dow Transportation. Jack Shane included a third index, the S&P 500. In his book, he did it, he wrote three, four pages explaining why it is important to include the S&P. So it, it's really very well explained in his book. He also explains why the NASDAQ is not a suitable candidate to include, because many times subscribers ask me, why don't you include the NASDAQ? No, the NASDAQ works very well with the Dow 30, but you derive the signals not from the NASDAQ, but from the Dow Industrials, the transportation, and the S&P 500. So the addition of a third index results in less noise and more signal. Secondly, in the original Dow theory to declare the existence of a secondary reaction uses the concept of retracement. So they say, okay, if there was a, a previous bull swing, it has to retrace at least one third to two thirds. And, that, and Jack Shannon did away with that requirement. It doesn't make any sense. He just requires for stock market that there is a decline or a rally of 3%. And uh, 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 it is very well explained in his book and also in, on our website. But by doing away with this requir requirement, you get much higher accuracy in, in, in signaling the change of the trend. Also, he uses a, sh a concept of shorter secondary reactions. The original Dow theory says that we need three weeks in order to the, of, 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 of a pullback or of a rally to declare the existence of a secondary reaction, Jack Shanep says, no, we just, we just need eight trading days as an average of all the indexes. It works well. It is much more reactive. So you get in earlier and you get out earlier. And you will say, okay, but then you are close to short-term trading. No, 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 don't worry. We also have one trade on average, like the original Dow theory. But... And furthermore, I, on my blog, there are several tests I did, and we have a higher profit factor than the original Dow theory. What, what, what does it mean, a higher profit factor? That even though we tend to be a little more quickly getting in and getting out, our efficacy, our accuracy is not, um, is not jeopardized. So we continue keeping a very high profit factor, actually even higher than the original Dow theory. So it means that we are even a more accurate trend following system. And finally, and this is very important, and this really deserves some three or four minutes of time, because even though we are trend followers, we want to make money. So we are not so dogmatic. So there are there is, there, there is a time to be a contrarian and to bet for a for a mean reduction. So normally we follow the trend, but sometimes we say, well, the market is too oversold. And when it's too oversold, it is a time to be a country and say, now I, I'm betting for the end of the downtrend and the beginning of a new one. This is the concept of capitulation. And I devoted, I devoted to this concept one slide. <laughs> 